You have come. Patience. Once Ihihana gets underway, no Hanu will be able to resist joining in. Just so. Ukevu knows well the heart of the Hanu. Have faith, Third Promise, and climb aboard the float. It is time for the lifting of wings. Here we go! Ikihana is a prayer for bountiful harvest. But this is not its only meaning. It is also an exchange of pledges between rider and bearers. A commitment to a long and fruitful friendship. Listen well, friends! The personage we bear today 
today is Wuklamat, the savior of our beloved festival. Let your shoulders burn or your feathers fall out, but do not even think of dropping her. Ready and... <laughs> I could get used to this. Belly, stop you from joining in the fun? Come and help us carry the float! Well, well, well. To see the day that Dawn's promise would ride our boat again. <laughs> We've not had the honor since you were here, Gulun Jaja. Now, onwards to Kozaduaki! Watch well, for you are about to bear witness to the true glory of Ihihana! The float draws upon our life force, concentrating and amplifying the energy. Shaihi then receives that energy and expels it in a great burst, where it showers down upon the land to replenish its vital currents. A literal charm. The float really was helping the reeds. That was amazing! To think that such a thing was even possible! Thank you. 
Some of them still look a bit sickly. I imagine even the harvest magic has its limits. If the Hanu continue their festival tradition year after year, though, the entire field should eventually recover. Where does that leave us with the feet, then? You've got nothing to fear on that account. Our situation could never have resolved itself. The revival of even a single reed would have served to demonstrate your commitment to the task. That you recognize the nature of the float and found a near perfect solution in Ihihana proves your dedication. What's more, I don't think I've seen the festival produce such impressive results since I was a mere chirper. Ah, we have been lax in maintaining the float, diluting its magic and reducing Ihihana to hollow theater. I was delayed by an unpleasant encounter, but it seems I arrived at a good time. Pour in some mystery liquid and problem solved? Stagnant ether was to blame for the reed's poor condition. I assumed that was an alchemical concoction which enhances ethereal conductivity. It utilized the flowing water as an ethereal current, thereby promoting the transfer of life energies. A method I could not have devised without the education I received at the studium and the cooperation of my Archon allies. Archon allies? You see, Lamachi, this is why we need to embrace foreign knowledge and technology. Employed appropriately, they make light work of what would otherwise be arduous labor. There's no need to lug around heavy floats. Well, you always were the clever one, brother. Your approach was no less effective, Wuklamart. It achieved the same result. Indeed it did. And you enjoyed the festival, yes? I did. It was so much fun. Having visited your village before, I thought I knew everything about it. As it turns out, I knew very little. About the reeds, about Ihihana. With all I've learned this time, I feel as though I've really come to know the Hanu. And I like you even more now than I did before. The feeling is mutual. And it's not just you who had a lot to learn either. I'll never look at our float the same way again. The two of you have exceeded expectations. Come forth and claim your stones. Five more to go. And 
on to the next. Not even a moment of celebration. That's Kona for you. A third promise? You must join us for Ikikana next season. As Dawn Servant, of course. Right. It's back to Tulihiola for now. Thank you for having us. I look forward to seeing you all again. <laughs> These are interesting times indeed. was brewed by Kona himself. It's a test vial, but it should contain the same reagents. Good work. We'll use whatever we must to win. For win we must. <laughs> 